Hi there. Well, I'm really excited today to be talking about Music Assistant. This is now an official Home Assistant add-on, and I'm going to show you all about it, get the speakers installed, and see what music we can pull in. So Music Assistant is basically a library manager, allowing you to access music on a streaming service as well as local files and stream that to different players within your house. Um, some of the cool things, it brings in the extended artist information like cover, um, the pictures of the covers. It also allows gapless crossfade between different songs and synchronization for multiple players. So I'm going to be using both an Apple Home Hub and I'm going to be using my uh, Bose S30 streaming speaker. So having a look at the home page, you can see recent songs that I've played. You can see artists, you can see albums, playlists, tracks and radio stations. So if I want to play something, I just click literally on the file. And there you can see we've got this artist and we've got all of the different tracks here for Wham. If we want one of those tracks, we just fire that up and we press play. Now we can select how we want it to play. So we can either cue it, we can play it now, play it next. So we just go play now and there we go, that will start playing. Now I can select what speakers I want that to play on. So if I click over here, you'll see currently I have two speakers connected. I have my lounge room speaker and my sound touch speaker. And I can adjust the volumes individually on these speakers or I can adjust them in a group. So I can turn up and down the volume in a group and group is playing both of the speakers together and it is tying the track together. So you can hear continuous movie music from one room to the next. Um, we can go into the search. We can search here for a song. For example, we've got different artists that has pulled in all this from Spotify. Um, we can search by albums that have come in. We can search for individual tracks. We can pull in different playlists. We've also got access to radio stations. So I did a search by country. I found some of my local South African stations from back home. And you can also access your local file system. So you can see there, I've got one MP3 track currently listed, which is stored on my Home Assistant SS3 D drive. So let's have a look how I got this all working. First of all, go along to Music Assistant and connect or install the add-on within Home Assistant. So if we go along to our add-on store and we have a look, here is Music Assistant. So now we can click all of these showing here and we can go start. And this will now start it up. And then so now we need to configure it. So we go along here and so next we click on Music Assistant in our sidebar. And now we need to do things. First of all, we need to add some music providers and then we need to add some players. So from the provider perspective, I'm going to start off by adding Spotify. So I go into Spotify and I add my username and my password. So remember, you need to use your username provided by Spotify and not your email address. So password and then save that. Now this will take a time because it actually needs to start synchronizing your folders from your Spotify account with your favorites and things. So we'll leave that to it. And in the meantime, we'll go and long and add a provider. So I go add provider. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to select a home assistant media player. So we go OK and we save that. So if I now go along to my speakers, you'll see that it's got these two speakers. And the reason these are showing is because I've added the Home Assistant connector and these two speakers were already added into Home Assistant. So you can see now that some artists and albums have already synchronized in from Spotify. So I can now go in there, there's a whole album and I can now click play. Now what it's gonna do is ask me to select a player. So let's say we want it in the lounge room and switch the lounge room on and we can now play. So if we want to go and add some radio stations now, we would go to the edit over here and then we want to select a radio provider. So we go add music and I'm going to select the radio browser. We're going to save that. So to browse for the radio stations, we go browse 
and radio browser and I find the easiest here is by country this brings up all the countries so for example I might be looking for uh, South Africa so I press SO there we go South Africa and it will then start bringing up some South African radio stations which I can select like that and I can favorite those and I've got a radio station loaded. So if we want to start browsing local files on our home assistant we go along here and we add file system local disk and we go save you'll see it's defaulting to the media file which is the media file on home assistant we'll go save and you now have your local disk available to you so if we go now over here and we browse we can browse for our file system local and there is a local track that has been stored on my home assistant. So I'm sure you'll agree that Music Assistant is an amazing way of managing music on your home assistant. Anyway, that's all for now. If you've enjoyed this content, please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.